Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tara. I hope everybody's well. Gemini, throwing them down for you for the month of November. All right, so reading me for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do if you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it don't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, and Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Your dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table, and I appreciate y'all stopping by to say hello to little old me. If you're new here, I think you might want to come hang out more often. You can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Be super cool of you. If you're returning, welcome back. I missed your face. Where the hell you been? That, like, flew across the room. I have to go get that. I'll keep talking. It's fine. Okay. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos to be circulated to those who might need the message. It is all greatly appreciated. Okay. Before I book the cards and throw them down, there's a couple things we got to go over other than these cards. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care if they're my cards or somebody else's. It's just not a good idea. I don't recommend it. Two, if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, if it's not vibing with you at all and not making sense in your life, don't try to force it to fit. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Okay? Oh, okay. Let's go over these and then we'll invoke the cards. Let's see what came out first. Tower reversed. You might have tried to rebuild a tower, rebuild a situation, rebuild a connection. Maybe it was the other person. Emperor reversed. Couldn't control the situation. Things got out of control. Five of Cups, there's sadness. Someone's unable to see the blessings in the situation, possibly. Hanged man. Some of them could have been a little bit up in the gallows. Maybe it was you. Maybe you're finally getting yourself out of the gallows about something. Seeing things from a different perspective, maybe. I don't know. We'll see if all of these come out in the cards. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Somebody threw in the towel. Somebody threw in the towel on the situation. Could have been you. Could have been them. I don't know. We'll see if the, any of them come out. Okay? Two more quick shuffles. We'll throw them down. Old Gemini. All right. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me this evening. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Gemini to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. What's going on, Gemini? Four of Wands. 11-11 connection. Soulmate connection, possibly. Could be Twin Flame. I don't know. It's a card of celebration. It's a card of healing. It's a card of stable, steady foundations. What is crossing this situation? The devil in the reverse. The challenge is getting away from toxicities, separating yourself from toxic people, toxic habit, toxic places, could be alcohol, drugs, <sighs> sex, gambling, anything that makes you feel a little bit too good. You know what I'm saying? That that's the challenge here is separating yourself from that to achieve balance, stability, and steady foundations. What the hell happened? The chariot Five of Swords in the reverse, Five of Wands in the reverse. Okay. Okay. Chariot. It's card forward movement. And this particular card, though, it's like, which way do I go? This way or that way? Some of you might have been in a little bit of a crossroads, not knowing which way to go. But the Chariot was moving somewhere. Current state, it's the Five of Swords reversed. In the upright, the Five of Swords is doing what's best for you. I'm kind of not feeling that off of this card. I'm 
I'll throw a clarifier on it. Immediate future coming out of a state of conflict. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I think you feel a little bit defeated right now. Okay, well. Why is it all happening? Eight of Pentacles, Death, and the Ace of Pentacles. Some put a lot of work in. There's a death cycle happening. Something old is passing away. Something new can be reborn. But you got to do the work. This is work being done. Work has been put in. Energy has been put in. Time has been put in. So you can get this new start, but it's a, it's slow. It's not going to happen right away. It didn't happen right away. It's not happening right away. This is very slow energy. I don't think someone was very pleased at the speed at which something was moving. I don't know if it was you or the other person. Slow, slow, slow. Outcome star reversed. Take a break is the moon. The moon is the unlit path. It is. It can be secrets, lies, and deception. It can also be going into the unknown. So what do you do with going into the unknown? I don't like that star reversed. I don't like it. It means you're not healing from something. Somebody isn't healing from something. Somebody's not spending enough time in, with source. Things aren't flowing well. Your challenge is separating from toxic habits and behaviors. Okay. Let's, let's just, 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 nobody panic. All right. What's going on? One quick shuffle and then I'm going to cut because these just go flying anyway. So what will go flying will go flying and it's time. Why the Five of Swords reversed? Queen of Cups reversed. Complete disconnect, lack of emotion. Wow. Wow. Someone is emotionally withdrawn. Or the feelings are there and just not being expressed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Five of Cups reversed and the Emperor. Someone's just trying to like maintain control and save face. They're, somebody's not processing emotions here. Someone deep down feels just defeated, but they're saving face. So, I got this. Do you? Do you have it? Hermit. Somebody's walking the path. Somebody's finding the light. Somebody's finding the light. You're walking a path right now. You're finding your way. One in this chariot reverse, or sorry, one in the chariot. One in the chariot. One in the chariot. King of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Wands reversed. Nine of Cups. You couldn't decide what made you happy. One in the Nine of Cups. Empress, you wanted something or someone made you happy. It speaks of inner peace and inner growth and inner love. But you were torn. You were torn.
You weren't sure what was going to grow. Hmm, so we fight in demons. One in this King of Pentacles reversed for Gemini. What's that defeat? Self defeating energy. Heartbreak. Wow, Gemini. What's going on? It's like you're ready to... You're torn. You're Gemini. You're torn. You're ready to take the cup. You're ready for something. And then you're not. Coming out of conflict with yourself. Ready to take the cup. Ready for something to grow. But then you're not. Still nursing a broken heart over something. Possibly nursing it with the wrong things with this devil. You gotta come out of your devil energy, Gemini. Why the five of wands reversed for what's coming up? Why the five of wands reversed? Nine of swords. Queen of Pentacles. King of Swords. Guarding your emotions. You want to come out of conflict with someone? I think you're trying to figure out how. It's anxious energy. One more. Eight of Swords. How do I come how do I come out of my head about this? Whoop. That, I dropped that. We're going to put that back. Page of Swords. It's communication. There's going to be communication coming in. Honest communication. I think you're going to be guarded. Either you're anxious or somebody else is anxious about coming out of conflict. It's all happened because of a death cycle. Something passed on, tried to be reborn, wasn't moving fast enough. One, one on why? Can I get one on why, please? One on why? One on why? Queen of Swords of Earth. Oh gosh! Somebody got an attitude! This isn't separation because somebody straight up got an attitude. You didn't know which way to go. I feel like somebody straight up cut you off. Or you straight up cut somebody off. I don't know. Somebody got cut off here. That Queen of Swords Reverse is pissed. Hereford, yeah, High Priest Reverse, yeah. A blessed union in separation because somebody got pissed. Something one moving. Six of Pentacles reversed. Tried to be fair, tried to be tried to be equal, tried tried to be honest. It wasn't moving fast enough for somebody. I think you put in work and effort, it just it was happening too slow. Damn. All right, I don't like this outcome. Why the star reversed? One on the star reversed. One on the star reversed. Okay, I'll take two. It's gonna be communication. You're giving me an offer. But it, it's gonna be honest. Heartfelt, sweet, possibly a little childish. It's coming from a page and the Knight of Swords. It might be in and out. Like that fast, but it's it's honest. But I don't I don't see you healed enough to take it. One on the moon. One on the moon. One on the moon. 
Okay, I'll take two. High Priestess, Nine of Wands. Yeah, yeah. Um, go with your intuition. Do what your gut tells you to do. The Moon and the High Priestess both speak of secrets. Somebody was keeping secrets. Somebody wasn't exactly being honest. If they threw in the towel on this once, Queen of Wands reversed. I don't see you being that passionate about it. But if you don't want this, don't take it. If you're not sure, don't take it. Don't get into something unless you're absolutely sure. King of Cups reversed. But don't like emotionally close yourself off. All right, advice for Gemini. Ten of Wands reversed, Two of Wands. Empress, High Priestess reversed. King of Wands reversed, Queen of Swords. Honesty, honesty, honesty. Honesty, honesty, honesty. I think it's important. Don't take any baggage into the next connection. You need to release that before you move forward. And at the same time, I mean, closure is a matter of, matter of entitlement. If you feel like you need to close something out for the other person to be able to let go and move forward, you need to get something off your chest, do it. But again, it's... A little sketchy area of entitlement there. I don't see people. Uh, uh, they're pissed. I'm just throwing that out there. They're they're pretty angry. Somebody is anyway. If, if they're the pissed off one, I'd be real, real careful how you approach that. Just throwing that out there. Don't let your ego get away with you. I don't know why I'm feeling compelled to say that. High Priestess and the Empress. The High Priestess is in the reverse. Don't let your ego pre pre prevent you from personal growth. Sometimes egos get in the way and we get in our own way. One more on that. Nine of Swords, Knight of Cups reversed. It's it's self-defeating thoughts. It's self-defeating thoughts. Don't get overly anxious about this. If it would help you to clear the air and help you feel better, reach out and communicate. But don't get all up in your head about them not communicating with you. Let it go. If, the, if they communicate, great. If they don't, don't get anxious about it. Just pick up dust off. When somebody's got something to say, say it. How about that? King of Wands reversed and the Queen of Swords. If something isn't going to move forward, you don't feel right about moving something forward, be honest about it. If you've lost passion for something, be honest about it. Drop the sword if you have to. It hurts, it hurts. Four of Pentacles reversed, eight of Wands reversed. Yeah. If the communication isn't there, just release it and let it go. If it's meant to be, well, what is meant to be will be, what is not won't. Hierophant at the bottom. What is meant to be will be. What is not won't. One of the greatest life lessons ever taught by the Hierophant. <laughs> At least, you know, to me anyway. All right, Gem. I love you guys. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. Peace, love, and light. And I will catch you guys in a couple weeks for November round two.